Well, it's your turn now. The Lionsgate portal of 2023 is now open and you might say to me, Ben, what can I expect? How do I maximize this opportunity? How do I maximize this energy? Because truthfully, friend, this is a season like no other. This is a season where you can come into a new day, a new state of being, a new awareness where dreams are fulfilled, where healings occur naturally, where divine guidance is offered with ease. This is a season like no other for you. I want to tell you about something that's about to happen. I want to warn you about something to do with this energy. It's going to catch many people out. Don't let that be the case for you. Let this be the first day of the rest of your life. Come on, friends, let's get it on. Well, aren't you an amazing soul? I hope that you know that. I hope that you are proud of yourself in your journey. I hope that you're being gentle with yourself. That's where we need to start in this Lionsgate season. Friend, I'm Ben. You'll find me here all of the time encouraging you along these same sorts of principles and topics. So make sure that you're subscribed so we are connected. Now this Lionsgate season is a season where you can expect to be tested. You might say to me, Ben, I've been through it. I've been through the ringer. Aren't the tests over? Will they ever be over? Man, I've had seasons like that. I've had seasons in my own life where it's been so difficult. It's been so horrific. It's been so horrible. And then something else comes along and it's like a great big kick while you are already down. And in those moments, you think to yourself, well, fine, kick me when I'm down. What else have you got? Surely I can't be the only one who's had these seasons in life where nothing works out. Everything feels like it's falling apart. It's going backwards, friends. I've encouraged you in this way time and time again, but nothing rings truer than in today's context. Sometimes things have to fall apart so they can be put back together in the way they were always supposed to be. The way you get from a brokenness to a reassembly. See, that's where the work is. We all come to points in our lives where we are broken by our life. So how do you get from the brokenness to the rebirth? How do you get from the brokenness to the brand new? The way that you get there is by beginning to pass the small tests. Every one of us, every day, is tested. You are tested in your own resolve around commitments you have given to yourself. You are tested around commitments that you've given to other people, friends, family members. You are certainly tested around the commitment you have given to your employer, the commitment that you have to your job and your career. Every day, you and I are tested. Every day, we are given opportunities to show up as the version of ourselves that we say that we are. Sometimes these tests are not the universe beating you up. Sometimes these tests are not the divine taking you through seasons of valleys where the shadows of death loom large over you. Sometimes these seasons are seasons where we learn to tune our spiritual ear into an act of obedience. Sometimes they're not about the result that falls out of passing a small test. Sometimes they're just about the passing of the small test. Do you know, some years ago in my life, I was going through one of these very seasons. And I felt something impressed upon my spirit. And I thought to myself, yeah, okay, I'll go do that. I'll be obedient, I'll go get that result. And as immediately as I thought that, and I, I will never forget this. As quickly as I thought to myself, okay, I'll go and get that result. Spirit spoke to my heart. Now you know that it's a feeling and you know that feeling. 
And what Saw said to me in that moment was, this is not about a result. Stop thinking about the results. This is simply about you practicing being obedient. This is simply about you passing the small test for the sake of having a pass in the small test test. It's not about going and doing the thing. It's not about getting the result. It's simply about a contrite spirit and an act of instinctive obedience. Before you will ever dawn the new day of your dreams fulfilled, Source needs to be able to trust that you will be, you will be instinctively obedient to its guiding on the inside of you. What if you win all of that money and you haven't trained your spiritual ear in the way that you need to, so you don't hear the gentle nudgings and the nuances that come from the inner monologue you have with the divine? What if you miss that? And what if you become one of those people we read about in the newspaper who says, you know what, I won the lottery too, and it was the worst thing that ever happened to me? See, these are people who still need practice passing the small test. And if I'm honest with you, throughout our life, we could all use practice at passing the small tests. Now, this Lionsgate season is a season where you will be tested and you will see the test for what it is. You will know this person is not coming against me because I've done something wrong or because they have a problem. What this actually is, is the unfolding of energy. This is the small test. And how you respond in that moment will dictate the pace at which you move forward into destiny. When you recognize these tests, and you will know them by how they feel to you, they will perhaps occur within your relationships or within your job. You might be driving down the street in your own world, listening to some incredible song on the radio. And all of a sudden, there's a prompting on the inside of you. It might tell you to go and do something, and you think, I don't want to do that. Okay, I'll go and do it. And you go and do it. And you think, I've done it, where's the prize? It's not about the prize, it's not about executing, it's just about the obedience. It's not about the result that falls out of it. As humans, we have this propensity to think, okay, I, I feel like I need to go and have this conversation, or I need to cut that person off, or I need to go and bless this person, or I need to do this at my work, or do this in this, this atmosphere. And we think then, okay, if I just do this, surely that thing that I want so much will come. That one act will not bring the thing that you desire so much. Living in a vibration where Source knows it can trust you to be instinctively obedient, to comply the minute you hear that still small voice inside, that is when your manifestation will come. That is when all of the money, the partner, the relationships, the goals, the dreams, they will be there. But they will not turn up while you are still in a season of practicing your compliance to the still small voice. If you will dedicate this lion's gate season to your own inner voice, if you will dedicate it to being immediately compliant to the instruction on the inside, not judging it, not thinking, well, if I just go and do this, surely then I'll get that thing. It's now not about getting that thing. It's about getting this right. So when the thing comes, it will be the blessing it was supposed to have been. So that when the partner comes, the love is like you have never known. So that when the money comes, it's a blessing to you. It does not leave you in the gutter. So that when the healing comes, it is full and complete and you can utilize every part of it. What this means, friends, is you have to take your eyes of urgently getting the prize right now. Don't let go of the dream. Understand it's not about you moving towards the dream. The dream will find you. What you have to do is show up for yourself in this season and recognize that there is opportunity for you to prove yourself 
to source, to prove yourself to the universe in this lion's gate season. And if you will practice this and practice this and pass the small tests, you will find yourself in the right place at the right time. You will find yourself showing up with everything required, where all of your dreams are fulfilled. It is the small acts of obedience that get you the result. The result doesn't come from one singular act. It is the compounding nature, the practice and rehearsal that is offered to you time and time again by a loving divine that gives you an opportunity to come at it with your A game, to lift yourself up and to pass the small test. When your nature is one that is immediately compliant to a still little nudging that comes from within, that's when you will find yourself in your promised land. Work on that. Work on breathing life into that. Work on becoming that. And all that you seek will seek you. I love you, friend. This is a powerful time for you. I hope this encouraged you today. Make sure that you are subscribed. And I will see you again real soon.